guys, Mava here and welcome back to my channel. We are now on our DIY sneaker mask part 2, Bane inspired. For still, I will be showing you the detailed step-by-step -step process on how to make your own sneaker mask. And with that, I hope you do like the video, enjoy it, or at least learn something from it. And if you do, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you will be the first to know the moment I upload a new video. And with all that being said, let's get on to it. Alright, things you'll need first would be the shoes, brand new, used, beaters, legit or not, it's definitely up to you, as long as you clean it out real good, scissors, an exacto knife, cutter or kitchen knife, as long as it's really sharp, needle and thread or a nylon thread would be perfect as well. In a lighter and then the rest will be optional okay now first things first is to take off the shoe tree shoelaces and the insoles before we start cutting the uppers from the midsole because we will be cutting that out all the way through and make sure to push the uppers down and keep it as close to the base as possible so you can maximize the material of the shoes that you're using. And also, before I forget, do not, please, do not throw away the sole and the insole because we'll be using that on part 3 because you will not be wasting any materials right here. We can also do something about that, alright? And if it's easier for you to use a, um, you know, scissors to cut through, Use that as long as it, it'll make your life easier. Do it. And there you go. You're all good. Now we'll cut the stitching between the cage and the uppers at a 45 degree angle. So then again, not to ruin the prime knit uppers. And also, if you have a seam ripper, that will be perfect as well. But if you do not have one, use any sharp material that you've got. And we'll start removing that using the X-Acto knife. Um, scissors or even your fingers but if you want to keep that use a shoe glue like an Elmer's glue and to keep that in place okay <laughs> and then now I don't know why I'm laughing but anyway uh, we'll start cutting the chin guard as I call it at a curved angle so you because you'd want that to you know hug your chin perfectly now we'll start cutting the cage from the heel guard using these red broken lines as a guide i'm sorry the video in this part got corrupted next is to cut off any excess fabric that we've got on our chin guard so it would perfectly fit once we sew that on the jaw guard <coughs> that we've got what, what the fuck was that <laughs> now same thing as what we did with part one we will be removing the stitching and glues on this fabric using an exacto knife and pulling it apart and we'll be cutting this heel part in the middle now if you can pull it apart go ahead but you know there are really gonna be stitchings and glues right here that we'll be needing the help of an exacto knife with just like what I'm doing right here and you know more pulling apart moment more slicing and then it should look like this yeah, it's, it looks like shit. Now, <laughs> we'll be cutting that all the way down. You just, you know, using scissors or an exacto knife. Then it should look like this. And the cages I imagine it should be going in here. And then we'll be cutting most of this padding out. So then again, it'll be very hard for you to breathe if you do not do that. But it's definitely up to you because this is, I know, extra work. No, don't be lazy. Just do it anyway. It looks good. And then we'll be removing this black padding as well. It has a lot of glues and stitching as well. And then we'll be cleaning out the edges using scissors and a lighter. <sighs> now I've already cleaned out the edges of this chin guard using scissors and a lighter. Buffed out the edges of this cage using a hand drill with a sanding disc or any sanding bits or sandpaper if you do not have one. And for this jaw guard, I've already cleaned out as well the edges using scissors and lighter. Took off the black padding 
burnt all the glue residue using a lighter and then we'll be folding this in so we can sew that all the way to the other side for a cleaner look so it's going to be pretty and secured just using a needle and thread we'll sew this chin guard as well but before you do that make sure that you do a dart just like this and do a straight stitch that looks like this because if you do not that's gonna be floppy also for this cage I have painted it black using Angelus paint and spray painted it with VHT wheel paint matte clear it's glue time <laughs> now we'll be using a glue gun and a super glue to glue this flap down to the prime knit uppers I applied glue gun as well um, on this part and at the back of the cage because it'll be going right here and for that to be glued over there we'll be using super glue on both sides all right and once you're done doing that it should look like this that it's pretty can be done with this just put the laces on but i'm gonna be drilling three more holes around the ear part for more security and durability and i'll be painting three stripes in the middle just again using angelus paint and that's it yeah, you're finally done with this Bane inspired sneaker mask. Now for any comments, suggestions on what videos you'd want me to do next or any questions on what we did, please feel free to put them all down below in the comment section. And if you did like, enjoy the video or at least learn something from it, please do hit the like button. It'll definitely help me a lot. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know right away the moment I upload a new video. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, it's at it's me mavmav. There you go. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye bye.